Hey guys, welcome back. So today is officially the last day of my 333 challenge. I will link below and as well here um, the video. Yeah, 30 days has gone by. It's April 26th. Let's first of all talk about the results. Okay, so the first challenge was to do 100 squats a day for 30 days, right? So that was the first thing. Um, when you're using your own body weight, it's going to only, it's only going to improve so much. But I did see a difference, so let me just show you. Okay, so in this picture here, I'm um, pointing out right at the bottom, the right side picture, everything is a little bit more smoother and lifted. Um, on the left side, you can see that it's kind of, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like an extra bump. Oh, God. Okay, um, so that's that. This next picture, we're gonna look at the top. And on the left side, it kind of gradually gets into it. And on the right side, there is definitely more of an indentation of um, my booty popping out. So, yay. <laughs> um, the next picture is my stomach, which, I mean, it hasn't changed that drastically, but you do see a bloating has gone down. Um, but that has nothing to do with the squats, that's to do with my, um, I guess, lack of desserts, which is cool too. I may have lost weight, I don't think I did, but I think I gained it from the muscle. And when you're not doing cardio, it's, you know, you're just gaining. And then lastly, in that picture, you could just overall, um, glutes have just expanded and again it's for the naked eye if you just quickly look it's not that noticeable I think maybe more in person it is but you I mean the pictures prove themselves um, but there it definitely has rounded out and lifted my legs feel so much stronger and like my butt feels stronger I don't feel like super jiggly when I'm walking like I I've always had a little bit of a curve, like it wasn't like there was nothing there, but it just seems, ooh, the lighting's changing. It just seems to be better. But at the end of the day, squats do not take away cellulite, okay? So let me make that clear. I knew that going into this, but I just wish it did. <laughs> In this process, I did not do cardio. I could count on, that hand, on my hand how many times I did cardio this month. So this is just strictly 100 squats a day um, and my natural body weight so you can build your booty with your natural body weight if you if you do it okay so that's being said so to me that was pretty cool to see the next challenge was um giving up the dessert so as you know i messed up two times one the first week and easter i had a little rainbow cookie and then another time um when we went out to dinner in the city i had two bites of a very delicious looking dessert. <clears throat> Other than that, I have stayed true and strong in my commitment to not having desserts. Keeping the house clean before I go to bed. I definitely made sure the dishes were done. I did the laundry and folded that. Um, just doing those nightly routine for me, like uh, making sure the dishes are away and all that, it's like has really triggered me to be like, I'm going to put this away now because I don't want to clean it up later. Like I'm going to just do this right now. I'm going to wash the blender out after I do my smoothie right away. I'm going to put the dishes right in the dishwasher right away. I'm going to make my bed as soon as I wake up. It it made me make it um, a habit more than just like a, cha a routine challenge. Like I want a lifestyle of being neat. Reading my, not only my devotions, but my scripture. So I, I chose Proverbs to read a chapter in Proverbs every day and go along with my prayer list of people and pray for them individually every single day. That I did 100%. And then the next thing was waking up at 8.30 every day. And I 100% failed on that. Like that one did not do well. I tried and I did not succeed. So that, that was a big fail. <laughs> um... This challenge to me was a really great experience and I know maybe to some of you these are just very silly and easy things. To me, I, I'm so happy I did it. So what I learned with squats, number one, that 
you can improve your body and ha if, it, it just takes discipline. So I learned that one, um, I can do squats every day and, and actually really enjoy it and love the feeling after and I'm going to continue to do them. Two, I'm going to start adding on weights so that I can build more of a booty and um, incorporate cardio so that I can be fit. Um, and desserts for me, what I've learned with that is that let dessert be a treat. Let it be something that we look forward to. I think that the balance of having it every now and then is great. You know what I mean? I would just have it whenever I felt like it. And I want to put incorporate dessert in my diet one day a week maybe give myself treat myself one day a week i think everyone deserves work for something and then be rewarded so that's what i learned me and my husband just have decided that we'll probably have our desserts once a week and we'll pick the day and it'll most likely be sunday so everything in balance which is really cool and really nice for me to just learn like you don't have to have these things like in every second we want them um the waking up early, you get so much more done earlier. But the days that I did get up early, I got so much more accomplished. And I just have to work on that. Um, the readings and the prayer. Girl, when I tell you the power of prayer is amazing. I, I'm telling you, I, I've been praying for individuals and, and people in my family and other people. I've actually added two subscribers um, to the, my list because they Dan, they asked me to pray for them and I thought that was so sweet and so nice and like great to know that I have that strong of connection with you through, uh, through you watching me that you feel comfortable enough for me to like know what's going on in your life in that intimate way and just be able to pray for you. So anyway, that that's cool. But uh, the power of prayer to me is just like things, God is working in people's lives and, and in things that we consistently pray for you know and so i i love doing that but not only that reading proverbs um let me get closer <laughs> reading proverbs has been such a blessing to me i mentioned this a little bit in my spring vibes video but i really want to get more in depth in it here is that every day that i read um a chapter it was just so eye-opening and encouraging spiritual awakening just deep connection with god like it says it there it says if you seek him and righteousness and you seek the knowledge and the wisdom of the bible and you're reading that you will gain wisdom clarity you will gain understanding you will have a connection with god god is speaking through that so if you want to connect with your creator um and have a form of relationship then you have to dive into the word you cannot rely on your pastor your mom your devotions that is the best lesson i learned out of this challenge and i'm so grateful that i did this it's also given me um sparked interest in topics that i can discuss which is cool because it kind of fuels my content yeah so overall this has been a great experience um i'm going to continue really glad i did it i hope that you guys did it i don't really know if you all followed through with it the ones that did say they were going to do it uh, I did tell you guys I would share what the 333 stood for for me. So, okay, the past two years, I guess for even before I got married, me and my husband, well, my husband told me that he kept seeing the number 333 everywhere in everything he did and every, like, not just the clock, like, literally everywhere it would pop up. And he just was like, it's just so weird. Like, I'm not searching for it. I'm not, like, it just keeps coming up. And what does this number mean? Like, I don't know. And then, so, then I started to see it everywhere. And it was just strange. And then I think I saw it for a really, a, a period of time where it was constant. Like, I think that it backed up. It stopped for a little while. But for this certain period of time, it was like, everywhere it was so crazy so i was like i don't know i don't know and he's like oh i've been researching what it is and and some things say like it's an angel guarding guardian angel saying like you're you're in the right direction you're going in the right path it's just signs and affirmations of that you're you're in your calling and then um he said that it represents about mind body and soul and the trinity which is um father son and the holy spirit and all that stuff. So he just felt like God was telling him, you know, 
mind, body, and soul, balance in mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and soul, like, you know, all that stuff. And then I, you know, I, I was like, wow, I mean, that makes sense. So I started seeing it everywhere as signs of affirmations. And then once we got married and literally a couple months ago, I thought about it and this could be my own assumption. Um, but the connection for me was like 333. I'm like, okay, mind, body, soul is three. And God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit is three, but that's six. Like what's the other three, you know? What does that mean? So as I started this challenge and started thinking about it, I felt God saying to me, like, the 333 represents Danny's mind, body, and soul, mind, uh, God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and me, my mind, body, and soul. And that the beauty of marriage and the beauty of you know, the two become one and with God, as God is the foundation. And so being in balance with your mind, body, and soul as a whole and working towards that and balance as, as Danny is doing that, you know, what God is telling him to let go of and all that stuff and really diving into the word and what God's calling us for his life, working on his mind and discipline and his body and working out and his soul and his, and his scriptures and, and devotions and all that. As he worked on himself, and as I work on myself and my body, mind, and soul, and have God in uh, as our foundation and as our source, it's 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 333. Like it, I was like, oh my gosh, like it makes sense. Like the 333 is all of us connected. I mean, all three of us, but all connected, all in balance. It's just that's why I wanted to call it this. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, have a, a husband or a wife to, to, to do my body and soul thing. It just meant for me personally that the number just has so many different levels to it and so many different, like, meanings in career, in my spiritual life, in my relationship with my husband, in my dreams and future and just has affirmations and signs like I don't know I know I'm going on but I wanted to share what it was because some of you had asked anyway yeah so that's that's the results <laughs> so hopefully you can look at this as an example for yourself and your own life just that like you know <clears throat> making small commitments is important and big commitments and small and just challenging yourself to do better and it takes discipline it takes focus it takes time it takes energy it takes sacrifice and um even in the small things you know what I mean and it's all important everything's connected and I'm glad I did it. I, I truly am. I feel amazing. <laughs> I really do. I highly recommend doing one. So I love you guys. I hope this was um, enjoyable to watch. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell if you're not notified when I upload videos. And follow me in other um, social networks. So love you so much. I will talk to you guys later. Ciao!